Dobry wieczór, szanowni państwo, rozpoczynamy konferencję Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, we are now starting the press conference of the National Electoral Commission. I'd like to hand over to the president of the commission, Judge Wojciech Hermeliński. Announcement of the National Electoral Commission dated 26th of October 2015 concerning aggregate results of the voting on the lists of candidates for deputies Poland-wide. In line with Article 231, Paragraph 1 and 2 of the Act of the 5th of January 2011, the Electoral Code, the National Electoral Commission states as follows. In the elections to the same of the Republic of Poland, uh, scheduled for the, 20, for the 25th of October 2015, all lists of uh, candidates uh, obtained 15 million to 100,671 valid votes. Individual lists of candidates obtained the following numbers of fair valid votes. List number one, the Electoral Committee Law and Justice, 5,711,687 votes, that is 37.58%. List number two, from the Electoral Committee Civic Platform of the Republic of Poland, 3,661,400. 474 votes, that is 24.09%. List number three, the Electoral Committee Party Together, 550,349 votes, that is 3.62%. List number four, the Electoral Committee Korwin, 722,999 votes, that is 4.76%. List number five, Electoral Committee Polish Peasants Party, 779,875 votes, that is 5.13%. List number six, the coalition United Left, 1,147,102 votes, that is 7.55%. List number seven, Electoral Committee, Cookies 15, 1,339,094 votes, that is 8.81%. List number 8, Electoral Committee, Modern, of Ryszard Petru, 1,155,370 votes, that is 7.6%. List number 7, Electoral Committee of Electors, J.O.W., Party Less, 15,656 votes, votes, that is 0.1%. List number 10, Electoral Committee of the Electors of Zbigniew Stonoga, 42,731 votes, that is 0.28%. List number 9, Elector, Electoral Committee of Electors Social Movement of the Republic of Poland, 3,941 votes, that is 0.03%. List number 12, Electoral Committee of the Electors United for Silesia, 18,668 votes, that is 0.12%. List number 13, Electoral Committee Self-Defense, 4,266 votes, that is 0.03%. List number 14, Electoral Committee of the Electors of Grzegorz Brown, God, God be with you, 13,113 votes, that is 0.09%. List number 15, Electoral Committee, Congress of the New Right, 4,852 votes, that is 0.03%. List number 16, Electoral Committee of the Electors of German Minority in the district number 21, 27,530 votes, that is 0.18%. And list number 16 of the Electoral Committee Electors, Citizens to the Parliament in the district number 19, 1,964 votes, that is 0.01%. The following list of candidates are for deputies meet the conditions for participation in the division of mandates. Number one, electoral lists uh, from the following uh, parties which uh, cross the threshold of 5% per based on the electoral code, which are list number one, 
Electoral Committee Law and Justice, list number two. Electoral Committee Civic Platform of the Republic of Poland, list number five. Uh, Electoral Committee Polish Peasants Party, list number seven. Electoral Committee Cookies 15, and list number eight. Uh, Electoral Committee modern of Richard Petro. Number two, list number 12, uh, Electoral Committee United for Silesia, a registered organization of um, ethnic minority according to Electoral uh, Code, and uh, point three, list number 16, registered in the district number 21 from the Electoral Committee of the German Minority, created by the electors uh, belonging to an organization of uh, national minority as stated in the electoral code. This is the announcement of the National Electoral Commission concerning aggregate results of the voting on list of candidates for deputies Poland-wide. If there are any questions, uh, now is the time to ask them. Please introduce yourself and the media you represent. Paweł Kasik, TVN24. When will we know the results with the division of mandates? And secondly, when will we know the results uh, for Senate? Tomorrow, in the afternoon. Next question, please. Good evening, Edyta Wozniak, uh, Polish Radio. What about the protocol from London? The protocol from London, what was wrong with it? Why was it uh, so late? What were the errors and why did we have to wait so long, almost 24 hours? Exactly. That's how long we should be waiting in line with the electoral code. In a situation when a foreign commission or a commission on a Polish sea vessel does not send a protocol, the problem uh, actually was um, very minor. There were some technicalities. However, in line with the electoral code, protocols from foreign commissions and commissions on Polish sea vessels have to be waited for, and the, if uh, the district commission does not obtain them on time, it has to wait 24 hours uh, from the moment the voting ended. And this is local time. Bear in mind, London 9 p.m. is 10 p.m. in Poland. If you add 24 hours to that, that makes it uh, 10 p.m. today. This is how long we had to wait if the commission was uh, late with sending the protocol. Unfortunately, the London commission was late with uh, sending over over their protocol. The Warsaw Commission had no impact whatsoever on it. We had to wait. And the main reason was uh, the fault of London. I'm asking about London because it delayed the elections for the second time during the presidential elections. It was exactly the same case. Other commissions abroad are doing well. What is so special about the commission in London? Well, we will know the details soon. Just uh, to uh, justify the situation, I can only say that the district is uh, big. There was a lot of correspondence voting. This most likely was the main difficulty for the Commission. As I said, we will be trying to explain that. Right now I'm not able to give you all exact reasons. So let me probe. In, a judge wanted to ask add something. Let me emphasize that the law requests that we wait for 24 hours. If the protocol is not there, we wouldn't be able to give you the results earlier than now. The Warsaw Commission had to wait until 10 p.m. Only once uh, it uh, stated that the London protocol was not here, could they go forward? This is the law, 24 hours. So from the moment the voting ended, but this is local time, so that's clearly 10 p.m. in Warsaw. And it seems that the Warsaw Commission prepared the protocol in a very quick pace. It's not the fault of the Warsaw Commission, it's the fault of the legal solution that binds us. One more question, what about the turnout? Uh, when will we know the information about the turnout? With the results concerning division of mandates, we will know the turnout tomorrow. Another question, Jacek Zalewski. Puls Biznesu. First short question, was it all voting from uh, the UK? Just No, just one district in London. Next question, referring to the UK and London, the very 
sense of electoral code and the provisions thereof state that the whole GMT, i.e. 52 districts plus Iceland and Morocco and some parts of uh, Atlantic uh, vote in the very last hour, knowing the results from also knowing the exit polls from also. So the very electoral code allows for such philosophy that a certain number of voters who go to those 20, uh, 52 polling stations in uh, the aforementioned uh, districts in the UK, Ireland, Portugal and, and so on and so or forth know the results from Warsaw. There's no comment about that. That's the law, clearly. We simply have to accept that. So these are crosses uh, that uh, matter, they exist. Please be more specific in your question. In the context of prolonging election silence, luckily we were able to avoid it uh, yesterday, yesterday, but let me remind you of the 24th of May. In the context of prolonging election silence in uh, Poland, we remember that it was around 15% in Skotów. How these crosses compare? I mean, prolonging election silence for a dozen or so persons, whereas uh, we have thousands of uh, people voting abroad, knowing the exit polls from also. As you stated, sir, this is a question to the legislator. It's hard for us to answer your question. This is the rule that was adopted by the legislator. It is nothing special, nothing extraordinary. No recent uh, phenomenon, a similar case occurs when it comes to voters in the US, so the voting ends and only then does it start in Poland. So we can say that the voters in Poland know what happened in the US already. So this is uh, a suggestion only for the legislator. The legislator could uh, change that situation. I'm asking about the philosophy of prolonging the silence in Poland. Are these crosses different? Prolongation of election silence, and I dare to disagree with what you said, is not done for several people. No electoral body can neglect those uh, people in line with Article 60 of the Constitution, they have the right to vote, so uh, we um, cannot neglect them. It would not be a good solution. Everyone has a right to vote. Election silence, uh, which was prolonged during the presidential elections, was fully justified. There were several hundred of uh, people who had the right to vote. Therefore, even assuming that uh, the result of their voting had no meaning on the general result of elections, yet still these people had the right to vote. Thank you very much for your questions. Next person, Anna Rasinska, TV Republika. Why are ballots uh, not numbered? Why are they pre-numbered forms? The legislator did not introduce such a solution. And secondly, if they were pre-numbered, it would mean that there would be a number on each ballot. and and if the voter signed uh, after taking a ballot, then it wouldn't be any problem to specify who the person voted for. It would have to be compared with the name of the person on the list and the name, uh, the name on the ballot and the number on the ballot. Any further questions? Again about London, I just wanted to confirm if the votes from London didn't arrive on time or if uh, there were no time to repair the error, could we then stop the time and uh, be able to obtain the information later? And if the votes didn't arrive on time, do we include them in the counting? Well, there is uh, no stopping of uh, the time if the votes are not there on time, irrespective of the reason, they are simply not taken into consideration. That's what the electoral code says. Therefore, maybe this is a question to the legislator. What about the district uh, where it happened for the second time? We cannot exclude a, uh, the situation happening once again. Maybe this district should be divided into smaller parts. Yes, but uh, um, this might be a question to the legislator, to the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Maybe um, we should increase the number of uh, districts in Warsaw. The Warsaw Commission is still overloaded and overburdened. This is the commission which uh, is responsible for counting the votes and verifying them. And that refers to the votes from commissions abroad, as you 
have noticed the London Commission is uh, lagging behind. Any further questions? Yes. What about tomorrow? Could you give us an estimate of the time when we will have the conference? I know it depends on many factors and on many district commissions, but more or less, uh, when could we have the conference? And what about the Senate? This is uh, rather a clear-cut decision. Why don't we know the official results today? Ladies and gentlemen, the results are known in the individual districts. The results have been published already. The National Electoral Commission, in line with the Electoral Code, will announce the results of the elections tomorrow. Today it's the result of voting tom tomorrow elections, and I mean elections to the same and the Senate. You asked us about the time. It seems that it will be late afternoon, 3, 4, say 3, 5 p.m. That you have to bear in mind, as we often emphasize, that the pace of work of the National Electoral Commission is dependent on the last commission, last out of 28,000 precinct electoral commission in Poland and abroad. This year, for the second time, the most decisive factor was the commission in London. This impacted the pace of work. We hope that tomorrow, when we will be obtaining the protocols uh, concerning the results of elections from 41 districts. These set protocols will arrive here within such a timeline that it will be possible for us uh, to pre present the results to you between 3 to 5 p.m. Bear in mind that we have to obtain the protocols from all districts only on that basis will we be able to specify who obtains the mandates tonight and tomorrow early in the morning members of the commissions will do the counting once they obtain the message from us concerning the thresholds so they must draft the protocols and we must obtain the protocols physically and then we will specify and acknowledge the uh, final results what uh, is uh, the problem about giving us the division of mandates uh, today so in poland in the polish electoral system the division of mandates is done on the level of district the legislator clearly specifies that this division and all related activ activities belong to the District Electoral Commission. We cannot do that. That's specified by the legislator. If the legislator said that this is the duty and competence of the National Electoral Commission, that wouldn't be a problem for us. But we have to have the leg legislator's uh, provision. For the time being, we have to give data to District uh, Electoral Commissions, which, using a specific mathematic uh, formula, will divide the mandates. This is the Polish electoral law. Any further questions? I see none. I'd like to thank you for today, and tomorrow we'll meet uh, at the last conference of the National Electoral Commission. Thank you very much.